At the end of World War II, in 1945, the United States and the Soviet Union divided Korea. Even after the Korean War in the 1950s, the two Koreas remained divided. The United States has maintained a military presence in Korea since the Korean War. The United States currently has about 30,000 troops in Korea. Not only that, but due to tensions on the Korean Peninsula, the United States has deployed a large military force in Japan. As Americans' relations with Vietnam improved, the Americans withdrew their naval and air power from the Philippines. However, the United States has not withdrawn its military force from Korea and Japan. In both countries there is a movement against U.S. military bases. A report in the Japan Times called for a U.S. base in the southern Japanese island of Okinawa. It is said that the people of Okinawa are questioning why 70% of the total 50,000 U.S. troops in Japan are located on the island of Okinawa. Allegations of sexual harassment against U.S. troops in Okinawa are not new, and the U.S. government is struggling to control them. As a result, there have been regular protests against U.S. troops in Okinawa. On top of that, U.S. Troops were instructed to refrain from drinking alcohol in Okinawa after a road accident involving a drunk driver last November. In order to maintain the U.S. military position in Japan, the Americans have to work hard to support the Japanese politicians. Tensions between the U.S. government and North Korea have risen sharply since the arrival of Donald Trump at the White House. But at regular intervals, Korea's neighbor Japan has had to deal with the most frightening situations after nuclear explosions and missile tests. In some cases, the missiles fired by Korea have crossed the Japanese airspace and landed in the Pacific Ocean, which has frightened Japan ever since. North Korea's missile test has not only made Japan interested in building a missile defense system, but has also taught India a new way with its full military might. Although Japan's anti-war constitution prohibits the manufacture and purchase of aggressive weapons, Japan is pulling out of it amid tensions over Korea. At the same time, Japan's militarization has shaken China. At a time when China is busy increasing its influence in the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean, Korean tensions have turned Japan against China. At the same time, the position of supporters of the U.S. base in Japan has been strengthened. But the anagona of peace doves on the Korean peninsula seems to be trying to change this whole calculation, Nikesh. The two Korea's peace talks are calling into question the main reason for the U.S. troop deployment in Korea and Japan. As of April, there were no U.S. ambassadors to any of the 36 countries in the world. According to an article in Foreign Policy magazine, these include a few countries very close to the United States. South Korea is one of them. This may seem unbelievable in the current situation in Korea. U.S. embassies work to maintain U.S. influence around the world. In each case, they have seized it. Despite obstacles we can scarcely imagine. And in the absence of an ambassador, U.S. influence in that country continues to wane. The magazine blames the lack of U.S. ambassadors to the Allies for the decline in U.S. influence around the world.